Hey guys, it's Wahima, but just call me Wah. Melanated! Okay, so in this video, this was requested by a subscriber, and thank you so much for your request. Uh, I believe it was Brown Girl Reading, I think. If it wasn't Brown Girl Reading, then I'm sorry for who whoever I'm snubbing for this. Um, so someone on my Snapchat suggested that I do a video that is about all the books that I've read that I've really enjoyed. So let me just tell you a little bit about me and words. I have wanted to learn to read ever since I can remember. I mean, just the excitement of learning how to read, I was so ready for it. I was so ready. As soon as they explained to me like how you read, like how you have the sounds of the of the letters and adding the vowels and how the what the rules are, I was in. My the first time I read the stop sign, I was like, stop, stop. <laughs> Reading is something that I love. I actually stole the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe from my elementary school library in the third grade. Please don't tell Mr. Kata. Uh, I didn't mean to steal it, but like I read it so much that I just, and I would check it out all the time that I just stopped returning it. Cause I was just like, I'm gonna read it again. So why should I give it back to you? The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe is the very first book that I really remember being super into. A lot of these books that I'm gonna give you are from, you know, different time periods, different eras, um, different genres, different authors, and different times in my life. By the time I got to the sixth grade, I was reading The Color Purple. So I read The Color Purple twice in the sixth grade. Didn't understand it both times, but got through it because I really understood the gist of the story. Early on, I read a lot of like black authors. Um, there are more so novels steeped in reality. Check out Walter Mosley and Devil with a Blue Dress. And there's also a movie about it starring Denzel Washington. Good movie too. Series of books about a black private detective in 1940s Los Angeles. Not someone who needs the writing to be prolific. Like I don't need a lot of imagery. I don't need, I, I can't, I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't read Toni Morrison. It's just I. it is over my head. You were starting this video thinking I'm gonna give you all of these like prolific black authors. Like, let me just tell you, this is not that video. Toni Morrison is just, I don't know what's happening. It's just like, I don't, I tried to read The Bluest Eyes and like I just was like, what is happening? I don't need, is there a story here or they're just words? So I'm gonna um, start off with some black authors that I really enjoyed. So Tumbling by Diana McKinney Whetstone. Tumbling is a book that I read twice and I just remember because I read it like over 10 years ago I just remember coming out of it with this feeling of like oh this is another side of life I think it's surrounding two black women as sisters if I believe and, and their relationship and I absolutely loved it um, Big Girls Don't Cry by Connie Briscoe was something that really shaped my life I don't know if it's the best writing but as a youth when I read it I loved it so for sci-fi we're black women I mean there's no other than Octavia E. Butler so uh, if you haven't read Kindred you should start with Kindred and see if you like that. You see if you like her writing. It's a really interesting story. It's about uh, a black woman in the 1970s who time travels back to like slavery time and and has to like, she's somehow linked to this uh, white boy and uh, she goes back to him whenever he needs her and she can't control it. It just kind of happens. Um, and so, and it has to do with like their relationship. So it's really, really interesting. Um, she also writes the uh, Xenogenesis trilogy, which is about man having to sort of coexist on the earth with aliens who come to like take over, but not really. They want to coexist and like how that works. I read all three of those books. I really enjoyed them. I did audio book. Now I don't like sit down and read a book anymore. And so it was easier for me to get into it because it was audiobook and all I could I could still work and listen to what was being read to me. Um, so I really liked Octavia E. Butler. I'm Judging You by Austin Lee Lovey is something that I've read recently that I was just cracking up over. I love that book. It just had me laughing and it was great. It was great listening to it. I did it on Audibles as well. Queen by Alex Haley. That was a book that kind of changed my life. I know it's an older book, but um, I read that when I was young too and I, I really liked it. Um, so check that out, Queen by Alex Haley. And then you're gonna judge me on this and I accept your judgment. I like to learn new things about different perspectives that I would never normally get and I feel like this book helped me get and understand a side of this type of man or this type of person that I was never gotten uh, had I not read it and it's called Chronicles of a Pimp and it's by Iceberg Slim. I'm not even gonna, I read that my freshman year of high school and I was like, what? This is crazy but like you know if it's somebody's story then I'm interested okay so let's move on to the um, young adult books that I'm really into or that I was really into they're like young adult fantasy books so obviously Harry Potter I mean duh like Harry Potter like duh 
that's just in that sentence. A couple of books by Tamora Pierce. Um, one of the series is called The Protector of the Small Quartet. So that's a really good book for your, your young daughters to sort of give them some like, oomph, like a you know, triumphing young woman. And the other one is um, Trickster series and I believe it's only two books but it's by Tamara Pierce and it's about a young queen and how she's like you know having to fight against this like sort of trickster uh, entity that's telling her lies or truths and she's trying to run this uh, kingdom and it's you know there's like espionage and there's different things in it so I enjoyed that book immensely. Um, another one um, for the young adults is The Hunger Games obviously it's so good so much better than the movies so good so like if you want to let your kids well, read it or you want to read it, I suggest The Hunger Games. Also the Aragon series. Um, I know the movie did the worst, but the books are actually really good. It's by Christopher Piolini. Um, I loved them. I love them. They're super episodic. So if you can't really like sit down and read a book like that, then I suggest doing an audio. But the Aragon series was my ish dragons you know what I'm saying like dragons magical and stuff I was into it uh Lord of the Rings obviously I mean this one's more for an adult Lord of the Rings Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card I really liked Ender's Game I suggest you check it out now let's move on to the mystery slash romance and let me tell you these romance novels that I've been reading I mean, they border on it on the erotic. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, they 100% are. They, I think they only, I think they they fit into the romance section and not the erotica section because there's a lot more story involved. <laughs> my first one and my most beloved, Dark Lover by J.R. Ward. The Black Dagger Brothers series. Girl, Dark Lover is the best book. It's the first one. Read it. If Wrath, Son of Wrath, doesn't take you to where you need to go. I don't know what I don't know what your life's about. I was in the, I'd be in the subway reading it like can people see what can they see the words that are on this page? Is someone looking over my shoulder? Girl with the dragon tattoo. Again, I read that before it was a movie, so like I I know I'm naming all these books that are movies, but I read them before they were movies, so like they were good before there was a visual, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the Night Angel Trilogy by Brent Weeks. I've read that twice now and every time I'm like, I forgot what happened, I love it so much. Brent Weeks, Night Angel Trilogy. It's about a young like street rat who becomes like a ninja. It's like, it's like right up my alley of a mixture between like ninja and like espionage mutant message from down under this is this is just a novel about this white lady who went to uh, Australia to do something I don't know to interview some Aborigines and they took her on like a walkabout and she was like not expecting it and she had all of this like self-discovery that happened as she was like walking around with the Aboriginals um, in the outback and it's definitely not about magic or witchery or anything like that um but i it did something to me and that book is by marlo morgan so yeah those are the books um that i you know really loved and enjoyed and i hope that you guys will let me know down below what books you suggest for me oh i know why the cage bird sings by maya angelo oh that was another one that changed my life too yeah i can't, I can't forget maya angelo i went on a maya angelo kick in like the seventh grade too i did a lot of the bulk of my like heavy reading sixth seventh and eighth grade i was going through it you know middle school was hard i needed some proof that it was going to get better they gave me some kind of hope that like you could be in a real shitty situation and at some point it's going to get better and those books did that so so, thanks guys so much for watching. Um, I'll have all the details down below about the books that I mentioned in this video and about this hair and about these earrings if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Bye!